Thank you, Disney, or more accurately, John Favreau. It's no revolutionary 300 IQ take that the Star Wars sequels had some major issues, mainly with not planning where the story would go ahead of time, which seems like writing 101. To be fair, we don't really know exactly how fleshed out George Lucas' plans for the original trilogy was back in the 70s. There's a lot of conflicting information. Did he make up stuff as he went along, or was he a master planner? There's a very interesting interview with Lucas that I unfortunately couldn't find right now, but if anyone can, I would love to see it in the comments comments, but it was basically him going, well, Star Wars was originally one film that started with Darth Vader entering the frame as this big baddie and ended with him throwing the Emperor down the shaft, and then he goes on to say that that story was essentially expanded into a trilogy, which sounds like much more of a plan than anything in the sequels. But even if George Lucas is remembering his planning ability favorably, I would never accuse the man of lying, we can all agree that you should have a plan, and if you didn't have a plan, at least pretend you did. Unlike when J.J. Abrams came out and pissed people off by pretty much admitting that the sequels had no larger plan. Even if it wasn't a massive surprise for most, the people who were on the fence about the films probably climbed over to the anti-sequel side quicker than Rey learning how to use a lightsaber perfectly. So when Jon Favreau recently came out and told that The Mandalorian Season 4, not just 3 but 4 too, has been completely written and how they're planning on tying Ahsoka, Skeleton Crew and everything together into one larger story, Star Wars fans are feeling very relieved. If you want to be cynical, you could see this as marketing damage control long over overdue, but I believe Jon Favreau is being genuine. And it's an exciting time to be a Star Wars fan. Now watch this clip on the screen. 